Happy Chinese New Year! Hey everybody, welcome to another video from your brother Zen, bringing you messages of love from above. And today's video is in celebration of the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year, which was actually yesterday, but it was my birthday yesterday. So um, thanks for all your birthday wishes for all of you that knew it was my birthday and wished me well wishes. So I thought what a wonderful time to do a reading just to see what this new year is going to bring um, each of us. So I'm going to do a pick a card reading so you can choose from um, the little links down in the description box below. I'm going to do three different pull cards um, or pick cards. And so you can choose one, two or three and we'll go ahead and jump into those right now. All right, welcome to reading number one, one if uh, that is the one that you chose. And you can, of course, choose as many as you want. And I thought I would start off by pulling a card from these Chinese fortune cards, because, of course, uh, Chinese New Year, right? So we'll start off and see what your first card is. And we'll just thank you, oh, our wonderful creator, just for your unconditional love. And we welcome you and any of the beings of unconditional love, our you know, angels, our spirit guides, our loved ones who have passed over, our ancestors, and any other unconditionally loving beings. We just welcome you and we thank you for bringing your messages of love today. We'll see what they have to say to us for this upcoming rotation around the sun for this next year. So for those that chose the first card reading we'll do and see what message they have for you all right there we go so we'll start off and you got health wonderful so that is a good message to start off with <clears throat> and we'll see what specifically it has in here and that is card number four for those of you that are into numerology as well if that has something there and i just really feel before i even read it in the book just Intuitively, what I'm getting, of course, is that this is going to be a year to focus on your health this next coming year. And, you know, of course, with everything that was happening over this last year, you know, just really things getting back to normal, getting to normal routines, going, getting out for some walks, getting rid of the COVID spread, <laughs> as I've been calling it, you know, just to help us get back into a healthier overall um, point both physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And this one, of course, talks about, it says, pay attention to diet and exercise more, detox, or de-stress. So the health symbol is all about becoming healthier by giving up bad habits once and for all. A healthy body is of utmost importance, and it is likely that a healing is taking place for those that have just gone through some kind of loss or grief or have experienced ill health. Your health is in your hands, and that means you can take some great steps towards better physical, mental, and emotional wellness. Now is a good time to ask specific health questions such as, are you feeling at your best? Do you want to lose weight? Do you need to give up smoking or other bad habits and live a healthier life? Could you give yourself more rest or some time out from stressful situations? The symbol appearing for you indicates that it's time to nurture yourself with some fresh fruits, vegetables, and relaxing activities. Get back into nature, walk in the park, Run along the ocean side. Play beautiful music around the home or read a book. However you choose to do it, chill out and heal your soul. This card suggests a healthier life is obtainable and now is the time to get to it and smell those roses. So wonderful message. Just reiterating a lot of what I had mentioned there um, to focus on yourself in just a variety of ways both spirit soul mind and body um next i'm going to pull um, a card here from the light sears tarot and see what messages come through um, those as well just get some clarification and some guidance 
additional messages those that chose card number one what do we have for those okay that one wants to stick out there any others for us here okay and one last pass through here nope that's gonna be it you guys here Oh, and you got the Queen of Pentacles, which is perfect because for me, this really represents Mother Nature and getting out in nature and focusing on the physical world. You know, in the tarot, there's, you know, four, you know, wands is more the kind of the magic, the um, spark behind ideas. You know, the swords is like the mind and the thoughts and um, the cups are like the emotions and stuff. So the pentacles are all about the kind of the physical out, outwardly world, um, the physical body, the things that are happening in your life. So I really feel this is just a reiteration of, you know, get back into mother nature like it talk about, get out and walk, spend some time outside. Um, and you know, spring is coming soon, so that'll be a good, good time to really do that. But this is kind of for the whole year, so it's really about you know, let's get back to nature, let's get back into taking care of ourselves. I'm just going to pull a card here from the Angel um, Guide deck here by Kyle Gray, and we'll see what your angels have to say for you as well. Yep, nobody can love your body more than you love you can do it yourself right so it's like do things that you know show your body that you love it you know by what you eat and how you treat it um and just distressing is a huge piece i know we've all been through a stress this last kind of a year and now's the time just to realize you know we survived through it we got through it and we will continue we'll always be okay you know we'll always get through every moment we either will get through it or we won't and in either case we'll be fine because we'll either have gotten through this moment in the physical world or we'll have returned home into the spiritual world which is just such a beautiful place in comparison to this dark place of contrast where there's fear and pain and all those lovely juicy emotions we come here to experience, you know? All right, so what message should we have for those that chose card number one, please? Oh, there we go. And you got the opportunity and change card here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. We'll see what oh, right opened up right up to the page here. So it says, as one door closes, another one opens. This is a time for change. Your angels are drawing close to you to support you in making the changes that you need to make to attract opportunities and abundance. You may have experienced resistance recently or felt stuck, but the new beginning you are seeking is unfolding now. If you're hesitating, I'm sorry, hesitating over a decision or wondering what to do about a particular project, your angels are encouraging you to go with the new. Change might bring a sense of vulnerability or present you with the unknown, but it will allow you to make a deeper connection to your feelings and gifts and what's important to you. Your guardian angel is waiting to guide you through the doorway of opportunity that is being offered to you now. And it gives an extended message which talks about you are in a time of change and opportunity, whether this involves a new role, career opportunity, relationship, child, or project, know that it is blessed by God and angels. This is an exciting time, and if you have apprehensions, know that this card is reassuring you that you are being supported by the divine. If you ask angels to lead the way, you will be guided by signs, intuition, and instinct. Move forward fearlessly, as this is a blessed time for you. Perfect. What a great message. So, especially when it's talking about health and the outside world, you know, which includes career and all those external things that are happening in your life, ask the angels. What I love about Kyle Gray and his... Um, in the videos and his little book that he has too it talks about 
you know, the Creator and the angels on the other side, they honor our free will, our power of choice. So unless we ask them to help us, they will just, you know, whisper to us advice and things. But when we proactively ask them to be involved in our daily life and just kind of make it a morning ritual, just, hey, I love you. I invite you to guide me and help me co-create my life and, you know, bring those things to my life that are for my highest good. And so, you know, just ask that and they will help help your physical body. They'll help bring those things into your life that will help you out and help out your external situations as well as your spiritual life too. All right, and then I'm gonna end up the reading here with these fortune cookies. And we'll see how many pop out here for you. Let's see what additional messages they have for you. Okay, that one popped out. Oh, there we go. So it looks like you will get three. Um, the first one is love. And I'll read that to you here too. It says, love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. So also your love health um, is a message that's coming through here. So it's a great year, um, you know, especially with this last year in 2020 really taught a lot of us is you never know what happened to loved ones, right? I mean, um, things can happen and they can be out of our life, both physically, you know, passing on and going back home or you know something happens where we're distanced and we have to stay away from people so you know appreciate everyone as much as you can you know valentine's day is coming up tomorrow just let those loved ones you know um, that you love them and you care about them and you know whether it's sending a text or a message on facebook or if it's a card or whatever it might be just let them know that they are loved commitment this says a commitment is indicated around love or business it will make you feel better um, so I think it mentioned in here about committing to your health you know committing to taking the steps that will help you be healthier that help your relationships be healthier um, you know do it what what's keeping us if not now when you know I think that's another message I got last year <laughs> And then you have a property, which of course is an external thing too, like we talked about. So property, purchase or sell um, for many is in the cards, but heed security concerns in any transaction. So um, when it comes to ex making external decisions, just take a step back, take a deep breath and take a step back and really, you know, read any fine print on anything, just to make sure that you're taking the steps. And if you're an individual that used to make jumps, quick jumps into things, this is just kind of a heat of warning of just take a deep breath, take a step back for once um, in making these decisions that are coming up and you'll be happy that you did. So, well, that is it for card number one for you for your Chinese New Year coming up. So if this resonated with you, I definitely appreciate um, any support and if you feel like giving me a like I definitely always appreciate those that does help out my channel as well as subscribing um, and putting comments and sharing the video all those things are free and they do help spread you know the love and the Zen out into the world so I appreciate any of those absolutely and if you do uh, subscribe to my channel if you click on the little alarm of course it'll let you know whenever I put out another video as well so I wish you in this next coming year, all the unconditional love, all the peace and all the joy that you can handle. And I wish you all the best. I send you my love. You take care. All right, if you selected reading number two, then this is your reading. And of course you can pick as many of the readings as you want. I thought I'd start off by pulling a card here from the Chinese fortune for the Chinese New Year, of course, so. We'll pick a card here. And as always, I just always like to thank the Creator um, for, first of all, just your unconditional love for us all. I mean, what more do we really need than that? But we thank you for the messages that you will bring today. 
And we thank all of those beings of unconditional love that want to join and help bring messages as well. You know, all our angels, all our spirit guides, our loved ones who have gone to the other side and any other unconditionally loving beings. Hey, we welcome you and thank you. We'll see what message those that chose. Reading number two have. All right, what's the first message for those that chose? The second reading, please. Okay. Right. I mean, this one's really sticking out here for me, so we're going to take that one. <clears throat> and you've got the sun. Beautiful, beautiful card here, and that's card number 28. For those of you that are into numerology, it breaks down to a 10, which is like new beginnings, because it breaks down to number one. I love the sun because it talks about growth in personal relationships, newfound optimism and enthusiasm. So the sun um, is a great card, even in the tarot. It's just the fulfillment of things. It sheds light on your life and it brings just clarity, um, which is a great message for you for this next year. Um, the book that this comes with says that the sun shines brilliantly on your whole life. You are feeling much more optimistic and enthusiastic about everything, and your life will be enriched through all of this positive energy. You will surely attract some wonderful experiences into your life. Your newfound confidence will see you leaving past struggles behind as you embrace the radiant success, successes that will surround you. Um, it talks about here, uh, specifically around career and finance, it says dynamic goal attraction will keep you busy and on your toes and difficult financial times will be put behind you as you start attracting opportunities for financial security and growth on the career front. Ambitions will be satisfied around wealth issues with lots of new options and opportunities. And as far as relationships, it says, this is a wonderful period for emotional happiness around your whole family. And if you're single, this card indicates the beginnings of a strong new relationship. Existing relationships see positive growth and fertility is at an all-time high. Uh-oh, so if you're looking for children, be aware. <laughs> children may bring a double happiness and uh, the greatest joy into your world, which is amazing. Um, it does give a little feng shui tip too. Placing the symbol of the sun in a courtyard or into your space can remind you of the shining, sparkling, positive times ahead. <laughs> so perfect. What a beautiful card to get for your um, representation for this entire next year coming up. So the sun is rising. So if, uh, if you've had a dark night of the soul, you know, which I know 2020 gave us a great opportunity to experience those dark shadows of just a lot of uh, challenges, just know the sunrise is coming. So I love that to put the um, you know, symbol of the sun somewhere around you where you're seeing that and reminding you for this next year. Um, next, I'm going to pull one of these cards from the Light Sears tarot deck here. Let's see how many cards pop up here for you. Just to give you more guidance, more information for this next coming lunar year. All right, what additional cards do you have for those that chose the second? pile there. Okay, any others? Okay, looks like you get two. <clears throat> and the first one, wonderful, is this Nine of Pentacles. And which is great is that this talks about um, kind of external blessings that are coming your way. And it's not quite harvest time for everything, but you'll see how there's this um, you know, bird that's a white bird, which represents like spirit. And it's showing you which items are ripe for the picking. And there's other times where if you don't want to pick these other fruits that are, you know, represented by these other pentacles up here, you don't want to pick those yet because they're not quite ripe yet. And you don't want to pick them too early because they're just going to be bitter and not worth as much as if you let them go 
through to their full uh, ripeness. So um, you're going to have blessings coming your way and just follow your inner voice and your gut, follow your heart that tells you which is ready for the picking. So that's a great message there. And the other one, yep, you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is wonderful. This um, card talks about letting things grow. Um, so if you needed a reiteration for that here, this is just letting you know that some things take time to grow and enjoy it. You know, this knight, he's walking around barefoot out in the grass, just meandering, not rushing into anything. The other knights of the tarot deck are all about action, 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 and movement. And this is just about a slow meandering, allowing the harvest to grow, spending time out on the fields, just enjoying watching things grow and not um, feeling all that pressure. You know, you can't like pull a, a plant and make it grow. You know, it's going to take the sun, the water, you know, the sun to have everything grow and just to watch it um, accumulate over the year. So, you know, for me, this doesn't seem like it's going to be this, you know, suddenly tomorrow you're going to, you know, win Powerball and become this millionaire and everything's going to do it. It's about the slow, steady growth and fruition of things that are going to be happening throughout this whole next coming year. But it is a positive outcome. I'm definitely for you there. And then I'm going to pull a card here from the Angel Guide deck just to get more messages for you here. Alright, additional message for those that chose the second reading, please. Okay, I really feel this one is calling our name. <clears throat> hmm. Yep. Earth and grounding. Just really if I'm gonna put that here, look at in the colors or a lot of the sun there. <clears throat> Let's see what the little book has to say. It says you may be feeling discombobulated or all over the place at this time, most likely because you're spreading yourself too thin and taking on too many projects at once. So your angel guide is encouraging you to get grounded. When you come back to earth, you will have a clearer insight into who you are and what you need to do to feel safer and more at ease in your life. You're being guided to take some time to breathe, connect with fresh air, and even go somewhere in nature where you can relax, release, and re let go. You may be uncertain about what you're supposed to be focusing on at this time, and that's because your energy is a little bit dispersed right now. But angels of the earth are with you to help you to ground yourself and feel connected again. As you have important work to do, and exciting experiences can only unfold when your energy is intact and contained. And I love that um, too, because I really feel, you know, this card too, um, when I notice that he's walking barefooted, that's one of the things is that can help you ground is get out into nature. And, you know, if it's not freezing out yet, <laughs> or maybe in spring when it's a little warmer, you know, just practice that of being barefoot out in nature, even if it's just out in your grass in your front yard. Um, but it just helps you connect and just become, you know, connected to Mother Earth and just grounded into Mother Earth. It also has an extended message for this card, which says that you are blessed to receive this card today because it's a message of protection and guardianship. Angels are strongly connected to you in your path right now, and they want to support your evolution. When you lose a sense of connection to who you are, you can often find yourself focusing on energy or projects or even old habits that can limit that evolution. So take time to breathe, call on Mother Earth to hold you, and invite angels of the earth to draw deep roots from your being down to the heart of the earth. Know that when you are grounded, you are a strong, focused, and loving individual and can make decisions that are enriching and revitalizing. When this card shows up for you, angels are guiding you to remember that you are of, the, of great value. The earth is blessed to have you. I love that. How perfect, how perfect. You are being guided. 
And then lastly, I'm gonna pull a fortune cookie here, or a few, see which ones come out here for you, just to finalize your reading here. And any advice that they have for you for this coming year? Well, there's one there. We'll take that one too. Okay, any others? Well, a bunch coming up. Wow, you get four. <clears throat> so the first one that popped out is jealousy. Um, and what I wanted to mention too with the sun and astrology, your sun sign really has to do with our ego and how we see the world and that. So kind of another message for that is if, if you haven't really dug into um, your astrology, look at your sun sign and um, I feel like there's going to be some messages for you just to understand why you kind of have the, the tendencies that you do. Um, some outlooks that you do um, and if you look even further into the rest of your your moon sign your rising sign and how the planets impact you really gives you a good understanding of how everything uh, unfolds even looking into your Chinese zodiac of course since this is a Chinese New Year reading um, it's amazing um, just as a side note I always thought you know you had one animal for the year that you were born but a lot a lot like our astrology they even have it for like the season, the day, um, and the hour. You actually have kind of like four um, animals in your Chinese zodiac that tell you a lot about you and how you interact like with your bosses, with people in general. Um, so if you're interested in that, check that out too because I found it very interesting. But Jealousy talks about watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Look at this. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. <laughs> Can't make that up. All right. And then you have luck. Yay. And luck says, a sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. So that is good there too. And you've got reflection. And Reflection says, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. So I think we talked about relationships on there too, with children and with other relationships. So that's a reiteration for that. And then you have a surprise, which says, a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those who are searching for it. So great message for this next year just a lot of things happening and coming your way and like i said um out of everything just you know focusing on that sun and i really just um love the idea of whether you paint a sun or you print off a sun or you, you have a sun medallion or you have something that just you surround yourself with to remember just how bright your future is and how bright you really are all right if this uh, resonated with you, as always, I do definitely always appreciate any likes you can give, any shares. Um, all those things help out my channel, uh, as well as if you subscribe. Um, so any of those things definitely helps out and helps it appear with all those algorithms out there to helps it appear under recommended videos for other people too, so they can have a little bit of hope and a little bit of love and zen into their lives as well. So I definitely appreciate you taking time here. I wish for this next coming year that you have more unconditional love than you can handle in your life, more joy, more peace, and I wish you all the best, and I send you my love. You take care now. Right, if you chose reading three, then this reading is for you. And I'm gonna start off by pulling a card here from this deck here of course because it is the chinese new year and this is the chinese fortune cards so we'll start off and see what card we can get for you and i always like to start off just thanking the creator for your unconditional love and we invite you to bring any messages for us and as well as any of those unconditionally loving beings from the other side our angels our spirit guides any loved ones who have passed over our ancestors and any other of those unconditional loving beings we welcome you to help bring through messages of love for us one more time here all right, so those that chose reading number three, what is the message for them, please? OK, 
Okay. Make it clear for us. We do love clear messages, of course. Make it really obvious for us. Okay, this one's really wanting its self to be known here, so we're gonna let it speak. All right, we got the dragon. And I love this card here, and that is card number 22, which is the master builder number for those that are into numerology. It's a great number there. And the dragon talks about enormous power surrounds you. Use it to your advantage entirely to be a winner. Um, before I read what's more in the book here, um, I love Chinese dragons, which if you watch my channel, you know that I've got Chinese dragons all over the place because they actually represent, um, they're like the angels of the, uh, you know, the Eastern realms. They're very mystical creatures um, and they seek after, you know, that white or crystal um, ball that they have in their mouth is actually seeking higher wisdom. And so they're actually um, considered like the angels of the of the orient so i love that and it talks about um for this card it's an incredibly powerful card the dragon symbol is strongly associated with success and victory so great news uh, this is representing your whole next year and it says ambitions will be satisfied as a new optimistic attitude manifests amazing opportunities the power of the dragon surrounds you and will move forward in leaps and bounds. There is literally no stopping you. So take the dragon card and keep it close to you so its power can energize you throughout your endeavors. Success will be sweet. So I'll put it up here if you want to take a picture of that. And there you go. You can keep that close to you as a reminder. Um, and it breaks it out for career and finances and relationships. And for career and finances, it says, of course, this card is all about success. If you act with integrity and honesty, however, those who act with dishonor or dishonesty will face the wrath of the dragon <laughs> who may quickly and suddenly reverse their fortunes. So hard work, however, will be mightily rewarded by the dragon. And if you play your cards right, you can go straight to the top in your career. For relationships, singles could meet a rich dynamic partner as your aura will attract lots of lovers your way. But don't get too caught up in the game as you might miss the perfect partner who shall come through the crowd. Marriages made now will be very powerful. So partnerships and people coming in are going to be very uh, successful for you. Um, it does talk about some feng, feng shui tips. It says place a dragon on your desk facing the door at work. It says <laughs> wear red underwear. Woohoo! <laughs> then place a dragon facing the front door at your home. So some neat little feng shui tips as well so great news i mean that is an awesome to get the dragon All right and then i'm going to pull um some cards here from this deck here this light sears tarot let's see how many cards pop out for you just to get you some additional messages all right so for those that chose number three what additional cards or messages do we have for them please okay that's too many there okay build that one there any others please last pass through okay nope so we get this one here and this one is the five of swords here <clears throat> and what I love about this card, you see this little crow on there and it's kind of speaking in his ear or pecking on his forehead. Um, you know, this can be, it can be taken as a negative card by some. And I always like to look at the positive things in life because really anything that comes our way is for us. It's not happening to us. So that these thoughts, um, you know, the five of swords is all about our thoughts and our beliefs um, that are in our head. So all these crows here 
what I, I love is that, you know, when, when we try to run from something, things literally are brought to our face, like this crow here. And so it's brought to us because at this point in our life, we've asked for these things to be brought in front of our face so that um, we face them literally and that w it's time to let those things go. You know, the other crows are flying away. And so this crow was just telling us, hey, I have this message for you. Look at this. It's time to look at this, which is great because what happens on the other side of inquiring into these thoughts and beliefs that are bringing darkness into our life and bringing those dark shadows is freedom. So if we've been running from something, you know, no matter where we go, there we are. So, you know, if we've been, um, you know, like when you leave one job and you go to another and you, you know, you experience the same thing as you did in that job and then you leave that job and you go to a third job and you're like, oh my God, it's just like those other two jobs and you go to a fourth job and you're like, you know, is everyone just like this? And it's like, hmm, the common denominator in all those is us, right? <laughs> so that's where that phrase comes up, wherever you go, there you are. So no matter how much you run, that monkey, or in this case, the crow is always on your back because it's us, it's our beliefs, it's our supposed tos and all those things that we're going through that are causing all that angst and all that disruption in our lives. So it's come to a point of, hey, pay attention. It's time to deal with this. And <clears throat> things aren't forced on us. Usually when this kind of thing comes, it's because we're frustrated enough. It's like, okay, I'm tired of all this external disappointment. Let me look into this and find out what's going on. And we discover that all those external things have been designed to disappoint us and point us back inward to find what we've been truly looking for, which is unconditional love, right? So we're, we're pointed back inward. You know, all those external things that we're taught are supposed to fulfill us, like people, situations, or things, do disappoint us because all those external things are unstable and not eternal. You know, people change or they pass away. Situations like jobs or living situations or whatever it may be never stay the same. They're always changing. And things, of course, deteriorate, break, or are stolen, so they are not forever either. So all those things will eventually let us down. And after we're disappointed enough, then that's when we turn inward. <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> next I'm gonna pull a card here from the angel guide deck here. Let's see what additional messages we have from our angels. Let's give it a good shuffle here. All right, what additional message do we have for those that chose reading number three, please? Okay, if you can make it really obvious for us. We like clear and obvious messages. All right, this one's really jumping out here, so we're gonna take that one. <clears throat> and that one is Mother, Father, God. And I love this card. Um, you know, as I was talking about all these external things that are disappointing us and turning us inward, that's what we find when we get into our heart. And you can even look like get into the center. You know, that's where we find the brightness. That's where we find that unconditional love. You know, the love that we can't gain any more of because we have 100% of it already. And there's no way we can lose it because there's no conditions at all. So there's no way we can lose it. So we eventually turn inward to find what we've been looking for all along. Um, and let me read what it says in the little book here too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it says, you are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and filling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. This card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you 
that you are significant and precious. You are loved beyond measure and the creator power is proud of you. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that anything is possible for you. No matter what you may be going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. And the extended message for this card says, This card is one of healing and wholeness. Whatever stories you may have heard about God being judgmental must be washed away. Divine energy could never hold a grudge against you, for you are an extension of its love. The power and presence of the Creator are not only with you, but within you. If you have ever felt that you aren't good enough, or that you are being judged, or that you haven't been the best you can be, know that you are forgiven. Angels are with you today to help create a healing wave between you and your divine parent. This card also brings the possibility of parental healing. If you'd like to clear up difficult energies between you and your parents or ancestry, know that angels are ready to help. They are guiding you to see the world through the eyes of Mother, Father, God, and to remember that love can heal everything. That is beautiful. And I love, you know, when it talks about forgiveness here, what's funny is, you know, I had an experience with God in my own life because I used to believe in a judgmental God and I feared being judged for, you know, anything in my life. But I was almost on the verge of even killing myself because I felt I let God down so much. And that can happen, you know. Um, there's things that we're taught that are so bad that are on the you know top, top 10 list of sins that God just, just doesn't want to, you know, to see. But when you look at it from a parent's point of view, even these earthly human parents, you know, is there anything that a child could do where you'd ever stop loving it? And how much greater is the love, the unconditional love of the Creator? There are no conditions. There are, is nothing to forgive. And so when we realize that, then that sets us free and we can let things go. <clears throat> but what the story reminded me of was when I used to ask God to forgive me every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And finally, through some supernatural ways, he actually said, I have forgiven you. And later in life, I was like, well, if there's nothing to forgive, why did you tell me you forgave me, you know, through this situation? And he was like, <laughs> the message that I got from the creator was, you know, it's like a little child that is so upset that it dropped its ice cream cone into the gutter. And it's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And it's like, almost just to get you to shut up about asking for forgiveness. I just said, okay, you're forgiven just so you would let it go. <laughs> so there you go, a little message. And then to end this, I'm gonna pull some fortune cookies here and just see what additional messages that we have for your year coming up. <laughs> All right, okay, there's one. Any others? That one there. Okay, and last pass, any others? Nope. So you get two fortune cookies. The first one is manifestations. And this one says, a bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes, which is perfect. That's right in alignment with the dragon message that it had. And then you get health too. And health says an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. So you have some encouragement for physical health as well as relationship health. So some great messages coming. I mean, what a great year you have coming up. So woohoo! But I do wish you all the best. And if this did resonate with you, um, I always appreciate any likes, um, any sharing of the video, any comments down below. Um, or if you um, also subscribe to my channel, all those things are free and all those things do help out my channel and the little algorithms that help it appear 
um, for other people as their recommended videos because you know that helps spread the love helps spread the zen and all the messages out there to the world so um, if you feel so inclined i definitely would appreciate that um, but i do wish you all the unconditional love that you can handle coming in this next year um, also all the peace that you can handle and all the joy that you can handle and I definitely appreciate you watching the videos here. I wish you all the best and I send you my love. You take care now. Bye-bye.